Hey guys, it's June 27, 2018. I apologize, my arms are sore, so I can't really hold the phone up um, very long. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. Today, this morning, this is my last day as a 33-year-old. And one of the things that the Lord had really um, put in my spirit is about trusting Him and His timing and His ways and the process. And, you know, there's a part of me that, like, okay, God, I don't want to end my, my 33rd year in shame and, you know, not seeing the fruits of my labor yet. You know, I have this dream and that you've given me, and I'm trying to figure it all out. And it's like the Lord is reminding me, it's like, my child, trust me. Rest in my love. Rest in my faithfulness. Rest in my timing. He knows I mean well, and he knows that my heart is to be used by him. So that's not the question. The question is, like, am I willing to trust him and his ways? You know, it's easier for us. To, it's easy for us to say that we trust him, but do we really trust him? Trust is such a huge thing this season. It's like God is saying, if you really want to inherit. The, all the promises and everything that he has ordained for his children. We as his sons and daughters really need to trust the Father's love for us, that he will give us what we're asking for at exactly the right time. The question is, can we handle it? You know, when I look back at the things that happened in my life, and even though I truly did not, um, I don't know why it's so dark, I really, I didn't know why, you know, um, things happened the way it did. And now that I look back, you know, with 2020 vision far away from while I was in it, it all worked out because all of my experiences that I went through equipped me for what I'm doing now, which is mentoring young women in the stages of life and the setbacks that life brings and you know it's kind of like you're co-laboring with Jesus that you're suffering with him um, not for my glory but for his glory because he really wants to prevent other people from going through pain and the thing about God is if you said yes Lord I'm willing you better be really willing not just the good stuff but the bad stuff and you know, I feel like I'm part of this, you know, army of God that's um, battling in the forefront. <sighs> Sorry. Like a forerunner. Like a forerunner. Like, I feel like, you know, you have those, you know, and when you're fighting, I know in, in war, a lot of times the, you know, the people who are in the back are the leaders. They don't, the people who are in the front are the ones, like, the regular people, willing to die, willing to try and fail, willing to do whatever it takes to make sure the people in the back are uh, safe. And that's what I feel like. I feel like I feel like I see myself in this war zone, and this is what I see in this spirit. I feel like I'm in the front, not just me, but there's a bunch of us in the front, and we're going into the territory of the enemy, and we're, like, leading the people behind us, and we're making sure that um, we're, we're, we're doing everything we can to protect the people behind us. And it doesn't matter what we go through. Like we're, God is like strengthening us this hour to fight this battle um, that is ahead of us um, with courage and boldness, knowing that he already won it for us. And it's exciting because I feel like, like I literally see myself like, um, like in like army clothes and I'm like in the front and I'm like, we're all like, going to the enemy's camp and we're taking back what the enemy has stolen and i believe that this is the season we're in that we are those forerunners those who are have been god has been preparing and helping us um get strong for the kingdom like we're in this in the heat of like the battle like we're literally at war with the enemy and we are literally taking back every 
thing, every territory, every dominion, every system that the enemy has stolen because it rightfully belongs to us. And God is raising up a generation to rise up in this hour to take back what the enemy has stolen. And you're not going to sit there and let the enemy continue to torment you and take what belongs to you. It's your time to rise up. Put your big boy panties on and go out there and fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. I'm hearing fight the good fight of faith. This is what you need to do this hour. So my brothers and sisters, my friends, my family, rise up. We got this. God is with us. God is fighting for us. We have angels on our side. So rise up, brothers and sisters. This is our season to war, and we will win because Jesus is our victory. I love you guys. I'm stirred up. I'm going to go conquer what I need to do today and just know that you are loved by the Most High God. He is so faithful. He's such a good father, and you are in his mighty hands. I love you guys. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.